Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. This year I am testing out all of my eyeshadow palettes. Do you want to come and say hello? I swear, whenever I say hello my loves, she's like, yes, that's me. I am the love. You want to say hello? There you go. Can you get your head up a bit further? Oh, far out. Yeah, she got me good. Got me good, right in the mouth. Mm -hmm. So as I was saying, testing out all of my eyeshadow palettes this year, I am ready to update you guys on my little Huda stash. I have five palettes here. Um, if you're seeing this for the first time, you just, you got lots to say, don't you? I'm going to put a picture, um, let's do it up here, I think, of the palette before I started using it and I mark it with like shades that I think I'll use and shades that I think I'm probably won't use and then over here I'm going to put what I actually did use so let's start with the mini palettes these are you know they feel a bit edited they are the nude light nude medium and nude rich these released in October of 2029 <laughs> gosh October of 2029 eh these really are future palettes. Obviously, it was October 2019. I bought all three of them, did a review on them. Was really super keen for the nude eyeshadows, but they come off really pink. I'll say this about the nude light. It actually turned out to be my favorite of all of them at the moment. Just with, you know, my personal eyeshadow preferences these days, I am a, I'm preferring a more light application and light colored eyeshadow look these days. I just think it opens up my eyes a bit better and um, is I just find it more flattering on me. It is really, really pink. Like, I don't feel like there's much of anything here that's nude except this shade. The other shades in the palette that I didn't swatch, I'll just swatch them for you. I'm not going to swatch all of the palette. Um, it's, I, I just want to sort of demonstrate with this one in particular. Um, nothing is super, super nude here. Why will you not swatch well? Just give me a break. This is sort of nudish or brown-ish. Um, and then maybe a bit of this, but again, it's kind of pink. So I just, yeah, this is pink. Uh, but I like it and... I am going to hold on to this one. Next up is Nude Medium. I feel like this one does appear to be more brown. And I guess it is, but it still comes across quite uh, pink on the skin, which oh, I don't know how. I still remember like filming my reviews of these and just being like, how are some of these pink? Like, I just do not understand. I don't think they were ever actually meant to be like straight up nude palettes i think they were meant to sort of break the mold of nude palettes and at the time that these were released they were you know they they were different um why am i swatching this whole thing again i'm also not swatching these in order but whatever um i just thought this was a really nice one it definitely it's a bit more like punchy with its pigmentation than the light palette but I just I find it very wearable based on how I like to wear my makeup these days I probably wouldn't reach for this one as much over the nude light but I like the colors and also just because I have like a makeup or an eyeshadow preference these days of how I like to wear things. It doesn't mean that I don't deviate from that on a fairly regular basis just to like keep things fresh and play around with stuff. So this one is staying as well. The last one in this trio is Nude Rich and this one I just felt was a bit too dark for me. Whenever I used it I was mostly gravitating towards like these two shades with a little bit of this or this on the outer corner if I felt like wearing some color and it just felt like uh, I didn't really want to deviate from wearing the same shades every time I picked up the palette so for me that just I mean it just screams like the palette is not right for you this color is beautiful I feel like these swatch like absolute trash but they're quite nice um, on the actual eye I am not swatching this whole palette 
there are some really beautiful shades in there um and you know i like it i just know i'm not gonna like reach for it enough like the shades that i like out of there i i like them but yeah i'm not gonna reach for it and whenever i do i'm always going to be doing the same thing and there's no point in keeping a palette that does that for me so nude rich is first to go after going through these little palettes i figured i would move on to the new nude since i had loved nude light so much i thought you know what this is probably going to be one where i really enjoy it and i want to hold on to it um but i found myself constantly doing the same thing every time i picked up this palette and ugh, i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling a bit of regret at the moment no i'm getting rid of it there you go um so i felt i felt like like when i look at it i'm like yeah i want to use everything but every time i did a look i found myself gravitating towards these like mats down here which i'll swatch for you these ones are all sort of muted and a little bit grayish or very like neutral and just soft i love them they're beautiful um i also really like this shade here really beautiful like i love i love this the rest of the mattes mm, like this one and this one are nice and i don't really have an issue with them um but for some reason they don't play the same on my like complexion they just look a little bit brighter than what i want them to i kind of like that really like soft muted like gray down like they're not gray scale but they've got that vibe like they're going into that territory and then these guys up here like they're just they're too bright for me i'm just not not vibing it um these shades here which are like they look like little petri dish kind of um shades with you know they're like spotty um they're pretty they're nice but also the nude light um offered that for me the glitter shades like are pro oh there's another one of those shades which i totally missed there we go oh god we're swatching almost this whole palette um i'm just gonna swatch the glitter shades now i look i'm just gonna say it i have some of the little nabla are they nabla yeah yes nabla glitter quads and i just feel like nothing really compares to them in terms of like what i own and these don't so once i'd sort of come to terms with the fact that all i wanted to use were the, these bottom shades i told myself that like i can't just keep a palette for these four mattes. I don't need this giant ass thing taking up space in a drawer that's already full. It doesn't matter that I love what's going on here. I can't keep a whole palette just for that. This little palette was enough. It kind of mimics what I like about that palette in a smaller version and that's good. Last but certainly not least, this is the Desert Dusk palette. It released in September of 2017, so this one is old. This one also came from an episode of The Makeup Breakup, so if eyeshadows fall out, don't be surprised. When I started the Huda part, I was like, this girl stays, for sure. Love this palette. This was always my favorite of all of my Huda palettes. At the time of purchasing this to review it or to have it on the makeup breakup and I think I reviewed it maybe I didn't it offered things that nothing else in my collection offered which was really exciting and I just thought it was a beautiful palette it's got a pressed glitter down here let's swatch it oh it's not good we repressed this glitter oh yeah it's not even gonna it's just like flaky yeah, I have glitter everywhere. Let's not swatch it. You've got some beautiful cool tones, some purples, reds, oranges. Like, it's just, it's so my vibe. Like, really, really my vibe. I think, or it was so my vibe. Um, I think what I would say about this is it swatches like absolute trash. And I'm pretty sure that's because a lot of the shades have been repressed. The ones that haven't are still pretty good um the beautiful shimmery shades are just like divine like retrograde retrograde 
note there and twilight these shades are stunning not that you can tell now yeah i just feel like like retrograde it's just not giving what it used to kind of disappointed me when i put it on my face i'm like she's not good anymore she's she's not good now when i when or when we repressed this uh for the episode of the makeup breakup it was fine and i used it a lot and it was a beautiful palette but um it's not okay now and that's not uncommon when you're repressing things like i would never say you know repress a palette just for the sake of it um you should only ever repress something if it's like broken you can see like there's just nothing coming off these so um that was just a really simple it's done for me i just knew that there was no point in keeping this but also i thought to myself i was a bit sad like when i was like oh okay well she's done um i was a little bit sad about that but like this is a, a palette you can still buy this today i'm pretty sure i feel good about what i've gotten rid of with huda so i'm getting rid of three Ugh. i'm getting rid of three palettes my two biggest ones as well which is you know that's a good feeling and i'm keeping my two like two of my smallest ones so recently i was going through my drawer picking out palettes and trying to decide you know how am i going to group the next lot of products or the next lot of palettes i and j i don't have any palettes um k i have quite a lot but it's all it's all kaleidos like can you tell kaleidos send me pr like that's i've got another one over here but i can't pick it up my hands too small so it's all kaleidos and then i have one uh kvd palette i've got por vida loca i've never used this so i'm really excited to dig into it not gonna lie and when i was looking at these i was like uh, i feel like with kaleidos the reason why i have so many is because they're sent to me in pr which i appreciate very very much i i love trying new stuff I just I don't want to buy everything I'm, I'm like I'm straight up not gonna lie about it because I feel bad I know I'm not gonna be able to use it all but because Kaleidos send me PR I don't really want to get rid of these palettes because I like to be able to reference shades when they come in especially with like these smaller quads that they've been doing in recent years there was a whole bunch that were very similar and I knew looking at my Kaleidos stash that like this could be a video in its own right look at them but I know there's like three palettes here that I want to keep but like I said I also don't want to get rid of them because I like to be able to reference older palettes if I get new ones in the future so for Kaleidos I am actually going to set aside the majority of these palettes and i'm not actually going to test them so these are the ones that i'm taking out of my eyeshadow palette drawer and i am going to store them elsewhere and i will pull them out for future reference also like the escape pod and club nebula there's some amazing beautiful brights in here so if i want brights in the future like i have them and it, like these guys here, they're stunning. They're beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows. I just know that the amount of times that I'm gonna reach for these is like negligible in a year. I also have Flower Punk here, which I just love the packaging of this. This is, it's so pretty, but the colors are just not, they're not me. And when we get into these quads, I have to say, and I've said it before, even when they send these and I do reviews, these all start to look very, very similar. They're all cool toned. There's always three mattes and a really beautiful shimmer. The, the shimmer formula in these is really pretty. And if I could have all of the shimmers together, like I, I'd probably keep that. I won't be depotting anything. I feel like every time I say, you know, I just want one shade or something like that. People are like, depot it. I'm not depotting anything. I Like, I've done it in the past. It's just, I don't care for it. I haven't reached for my depotted single eyeshadows since I did it. So why, why would I bother now? But the ones that I am keeping to test out are this one, which I don't know the name of. Oh, there she is. 
beautiful. It's beautiful browns and a like silvery taupe shimmer. I have Luna Lavender and uh, Sashimi City. And of course I have uh, KVD Por Vida Loca. Uh, but I felt like four palettes is not enough to test out especially since some of these are quite small and I know like I'll test them out and I'll know exactly how I feel really really quickly maybe one or two days so I decided to bring in some others I am going to do L which includes lethal cosmetics and Lorac and I'm gonna do M that includes Mac some Mecca Max and my one and only Morphe palette from Jaclyn Hill. So that's what I'm going to be working on uh, over the next however long it takes me. Hopefully not too long. I feel like this looks like quite a stack, but a lot of these are quads or six pan palettes. Um, and it's really only these four down here, which are the bigger palettes. And they're all from different brands. And I'm kind of like, I'm keen to play with these. When was the last time I put Lorac eyeshadows on my eyes? God, like, so long ago. Um, same with KVD. Lethal, that came in PR a couple of years ago, I think. And I also haven't played with my Morphe palette in ages. So, like, I'm looking forward to this little stack. That will be the next update. It'll be a big one. And then, for everyone who's been waiting, I think I'll do Natasha Denona. So... I feel like when I started this project, there are a lot of people who are like, oh my God, it's going to take you like three years to get to Natasha. No, no, it's not. Um, we're, we're very close to getting there. We're not quite halfway through my whole collection yet. So I started with 90 palettes, I think, um, when I began this project. And with this video done, I've tested out 41 and I've decluttered 16. That's not enough. It's not, it's not enough. Oh, but to be fair, there's a whole bunch of Kaleidos that I've just like essentially removed from my collection. Uh, so ugh, the numbers are a bit skew if at the moment. It, it's been on my to-do list to like tidy that up and get the numbers all correct I've not done it yet maybe maybe by the next update we'll see um, but that's it I'm gonna go I hope you enjoyed it if you have any Huda palettes kicking around still let me know what your faves are um, I know she's released a whole bunch in recent years that I've not paid any attention to so let me know what you've got and what you love and I'll leave it there oh I want to say a massive thank you to my channel members and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.